Like it or not, this is happening in real life. It's not that often anymore that daytime breaks new ground. Once upon a time soap operas tackled uncomfortable real-life topics with startling regularity, but it's been years since that heyday of bravery. Heck, back when interracial relationships were taboo, days of our lives pushed through such disgusting racism with daytime's first interracial couple, David Banning and Valerie Grant. Related story Days of Our Lives Preview, Nicole winds up in EJ's bed, Eric ends up in, spoiler, and find out how Salem is celebrating Christmas this year now, the threesome between Ali, Chanel and Alex is not on the level of pushing back against racism, but it was a daytime first and it certainly got people talking about a real life topic they may not want to acknowledge. Heck, even People magazine was writing about it. It was something new on soap operas, though plenty of primetime shows have tackled it, it was something sexually open and it was something that made some viewers pretty darn uncomfortable. We were trending, Raven Bowens excitedly recalled to soaps. Calm. And I was like, okay. In fact, it may have been trending even more if it had happened as originally envisioned. The actress confirms, when it was taped, the folks at the show had thought it was going to air on NBC. The move to Peacock hadn't been announced yet. It's so funny, she laughed, because you know how NBC is a channel that just plays, like in the airport, in a nail salon. Imagine that's what's just happening, in the background. Now that would have gotten a lot more eyeballs on the threesome. And that wouldn't have been a bad thing for Bowen. It's not though, just a matter of ratings. The actress acknowledged that folks living in Los Angeles can sometimes forget that they're in a bit more of a bubble than other places. There are a ton of things they take for granted in, such a progressive place where it's like, oh yeah, we've done that. But she knows, there's more to the world than Hollywoodland and she loves the idea that they might spark a conversation somewhere that doesn't talk about these things as much. We're so much of a show that is so big in other places where it's not as common to be, you know, sexually fluid, she explained. Or people are, but they're a little more quiet about it. They're not as open with their sexuality and what they're doing. Robert Scott Wilson echoed the idea that something like a threesome is a real-life issue. This wasn't a sci-fi or supernatural story, nor was it an over-the-top tale like baby swapping or a return from the dead. There's so much variety in sexuality out there, threesomes are, well, happening. Still, he realizes all of that may mean little to some people who just do not want to see it or talk about it. Whoever it may, he acknowledged, there's always going to be people who are offended. But the show really did everything it could to make sure it was tasteful and comfortable for all involved. I think they really shot it beautifully, Wilson said. Everything was thought of. We had an intimacy coordinator, we had a female director who has great taste in vision. They talked to us privately. Co-executive producer, Albert Aller brought us up and talked about it weeks before. With that said, he did admit that, it's still awkward. I've been doing this for years and intimacy scenes are always a little awkward, but it's always handled with class and taste. But no matter what, he's grateful to have been able to do it, especially, on a show that's done everything a million times. It's nice to do something that's fresh and new. More, get your first look of Peter Reckle on set. That's something Bowens echoed. It was exciting to know we were pioneering things, she shared. I remember being a kid and thinking, oh, everything's already been done. Is there anything that I'm ever going to be able to do in life that's never been done? So, it's kind of cool, because yes, it's been done in other spaces, but in this space it's unique. At the end of the day, Wilson said, it's romance in the afternoon. And now that Days of Our Lives is on Peacock, it's romance anytime, so now we should be able to do threesomes anytime. Days of Our Lives is now airing exclusively on Peacock.
To make sure you never miss an episode, click here. Please note that if you purchase something by clicking on a link within this story, we may receive a small commission of the sale. Catch up with where all your Salem couples are with our Days of Our Lives Relationship Photo Gallery.